Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little pinecone hedgehog. I love this idea and I hope y'all do too. If you make your own pinecone hedgehog, I would love to see. Post pics to my Facebook page or you can tag me on Instagram. For this tutorial I'll be using Red Heart with Love Yarn in gray and a size G hook. You will also need some pine cones. The pine cone that I'm using today is about 3.5 inches long and about 8 inches at the widest point. But I've also made the same size hedgehog with a pine cone that was about 2.5 inches long and about 6 inches at the widest point. For the written pattern and instructions on making smaller or larger pine cone hedgehogs, go to my blog for the written pattern. I'll put the link in the description box below. It's up to you what size you want to make the hedgehog, and just remember, there are no rules. So whatever you think is cute, do it. I'm going to start the head with a loose slip knot or a magic circle. If you do not know how to make a loose slip knot or any of the other stitches in this tutorial, check out my video tutorials. I'll leave the links below. Now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to put six double crochet into the loose slip knot or the magic circle. So you have put six double crochet into the loose slip knot. Now you can slip stitch it to the first double crochet of the round. Chains do not count as stitches in this pattern. If you have trouble finding where your first stitch is in the row, you can count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and slip stitch. Now for row two, you can chain one and put two single crochet into the same space. And in each stitch around. And again, slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Now for row three, I'm going to chain one, put a single crochet into the same space, and in each stitch around. I'm going to slip stitch it to the first single crochet of the round. Now for row four, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to put two single crochet into the same space. And one single crochet into the next space. Now I'm going to put two single crochets into the next space and one single crochet into the next space or stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. And now I'm just going to slip stitch that to the first single crochet of this round. Now for row 5, I'm going to chain 1, put a single crochet into the same space, and in each stitch around. A little bit of fuzzy yarn there. And now I'm going to slip stitch it to the first single crochet of the round. Now for row 6, I'm going to chain 1, put 2 single crochets into the same space, one single crochet into the next space or stitch, and another single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm going to put 2 single crochets into the next stitch, and one single crochet into the next 2 stitches and repeat that all the way around. Now I'm 
just going to slip stitch it to that first single crochet of the round. Now for row 7, I'm going to chain 1 and put a half double crochet into the same space. Double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. Now I'm going to put a half double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the next stitch and a slip stitch into the next stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Now when you get to the last stitch, instead of putting a slip stitch into the last stitch, I'm going to put a slip stitch at the bottom of the chain one. Now I'm going to take the tail end, pull on it until the hole closes up. Now you can cut the yarn, weave in your ends, and add two little eyes and a nose. And your head is finished until you are ready to sew on your ears. To start the ears, I'm going to make the loose slip knot or magic circle. Oops. I'm going to chain one and put five single crochet into the loose slip knot or the magic circle. Now I'm going to pull the tail in to close the hole and cut my yarn leaving a tail long enough to sew it to my hedgehog head. I'm going to pull the yarn through. Now I'm going to thread it through my darning needle. And to shape the ear, I'm going to put it, I'm going to thread the yarn through the bottom two stitches. And pull tight. I'm going to do that one more time. And now you have a cute little ear that you can sew on to the pinecone hedgehog head. So y'all go ahead and make another one and then I will show you how to make the arms. To start the arm, I'm going to make a loose slip knot or a magic circle and chain one. Now I'm going to put five single crochet into the loose slip knot or the magic circle. My tail in and draw the hole close. Now I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. The chain one did not count as a single crochet. Now you can chain seven. Now in the second chain from the hook you can put a single crochet but instead of putting it in the chain when we where we normally put it I'm going to flip the chain over if you can see the little back humps on the chain, that is where we will be working our single crochets. I'm going to put one single crochet and continue along five more times.
Now you can cut your yarn, pull the yarn through, thread it through a darning needle, and thread it through that first stitch. And there's your little arm with the cute little paw. Now you can weave in the ends and make another one. Before I glue my head on, I like to look at the pine cone. See how it's going to sit and see how the head should be. You don't want to glue your head on and then it just be tilted down onto the table or wherever you're going to sit it. That's not going to look good. So I like to just make sure I'm going to place it in the right position. This one I'm going to tilt up just a tiny bit so that when it sits down his head is up. Now I'm going to get my glue gun. Now to glue the head on, I'm just going to put some glue at the top of the pine cone and stick the head on. Again, I like to play around with it a little bit and see how the arms should go, and then I will glue them on. And now your little hedgehog is done. I think these make great decorations and gifts. You can also add beads or a flower or even a little Santa hat. Check out the written pattern on my blog for a Santa hat pattern and the instructions on making these hedgehogs smaller or bigger. If you like this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Thanks a bunch. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Bye!